then in Noah's genealogy, we have the entire flood account. And the flood is a uncreation. It's an uncreation mm. of the world until it gets to the point that the ark is traveling no longer above the earth, but upon the water. You can see that it's returned to a complete water ball, going back to what it mm -hmm. started at in Genesis 1-2. When the waters are receding, when the mountaintops appear, it's used the same wording that is used in the Hebrew, that is used in Genesis 1-9, nor that the dry land might appear. So we find uh, these deliberate allusions uh, to, uh, to creation that the Lord is remaking the earth. And the flood, is it a global flood? Well, I mean, I don't know how many times, I think 35 times or so, the word kol, which is all, occurs in the flood narrative. Uh, if this is a judgment on mankind, uh, then it has to be global for the, uh, the sin of mankind. The way it's described, the, the highest mountains being submerged on the water, this is a global flood. Mm -hmm. 